Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, uh, these eggs have started to hatch two days early. Um, from, reprogram from reprogramming this incubator I lost uh, almost three days. And it's day 17 now and they're supposed to hatch around the 21st day. So I had thought that this incubator may have been, the temperature might have been a little bit low but actually I guess it was a little bit high. Um, it's automatically set itself for the last four days. It's dropped the humidity and it's dropped the temperature. Uh, I did that yesterday actually. I just didn't uh, say anything about it. So uh, they, they should, the eggs should stop turning now. They shouldn't turn anymore because uh, the chicks are trying to get out of the eggs and if they keep rolling around in there it makes it extra hard on them. So, um, I don't know, I must have been tired. I wasn't thinking something last time when we added the last tray of eggs. Uh, this one here was the last one, the one on the top. Uh, so we're going to move it down to the bottom and then these, then these two will be up at the top Actually, we can't do it that way. We have to move these two to the bottom so that I can disconnect the turner. Because it's all, it's, it's like old-fashioned Christmas lights. If one goes out, they all go out. So if I unplug the turner on the top one, then none of them will work. So these two trays have to go to the bottom so why that I can unplug the automatic turner. Love. Why, why you still need to move the well, because the uh, the and and the amazing part is is the automatic turner is now working. Uh, all that time it wasn't working, or maybe it was working, and I just didn't notice it. But the automatic turner is working because Marcel heard these chicks peeping in there. There's some that have hatched; they're in there. And while I was looking, I heard the turner motors begin, and so uh, the turner is either working intermittently or it's been working all this time. Regardless, uh, I've got to get, and it's going to be an incredible pain, I've got to figure out a different rotation because I would like for the ones to be hatching on top, but I can't do that uh, and be able to disconnect the uh, automatic turner. So the ones that are hatching have to be on the bottom, so that means every two or three hours I'm going to have to lift up this, the heavy top trays and take a few chicks that have hatched out of the bottom. Uh, it's just the way I'm going to have to do it. Uh, I can't get this yellow incubator to work. I never was able to find the connections that the rats have chewed into. Uh, but the old, uh, the very first one we got, this rec rectangular one here, or not rectangular, this hexagonal one here that we have, does still work. Uh, I plugged it in even though the rats have been chewing on the cord a little bit, the fan works, it's getting hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicks as they hatch. There's too many to put in that incubator and just leave it in, in there and let them hatch. So as they hatch, I'm going to take them out of this big incubator and put them in this one. And that's going to be the routine for a couple days. So we have to get these two trays here on the bottom and the automatic turner unplugged. And this is the one, this is the one we added last, right? So then this one, because this one's going to have to eventually be turned off as well. So this one has to go to the top. And the eggs that are hatching are just going to be, the trays that are hatching are just going to be moved down. So it's hard for you to remove the... Yes, it, it is. Um... If I was getting enough eggs all at one time, if I could get enough eggs to fill this incubator, which is about 200, uh, if I could get 200 eggs within a week, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with rotating them through. But I'm only getting about a dozen a day. And so 7 times 12 is 84. So I'm getting less than half of the eggs that I need to be able to use this incubator. Yeah, I can see the chicks. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're peeping around in there. So I'm getting half as many eggs as I need to be able to just fill this incubator, turn it on, and let it go, and not have to mess with it. But to get the, the most chicks out of it that I can in the shortest amount of time, I just do one tray every week, 
and uh, I have plenty of eggs and I'll have a hatch every week so that's it's going to be a little bit more of a, of a pain but uh, that's the way I have to do it right now all right well we've got everything moved around we had to wait like five minutes for it to heat back up enough for the alarm to shut off maybe even ten minutes but these two trays down here are the ones that are hatching and there's a lot of them that are pipped most of them I would say one more in one tray than in the other uh, kind of a mystery maybe one tray was turning and the other one wasn't so uh, I don't know I thought I checked and they were all turning but anyway uh, there were four that were completely out of their shell and wandering around and these are them look at these little guys now I can tell from what I know about chickens this is a Kabir and this is a Kabir and That's these two native. here are natives yeah you're right I think me. I think this one is from the native brewster that is not exactly my favorite but I'm almost sure that this one I forget what they call it. It's the one with long legs and a long neck. Mm -hmm. I think that's what this little guy is here. And I am so happy that those two roosters are taking a handle in their business and that I've got some good crossbreeds out of these. Yeah. I can't wait to get up in the morning so and, and see what I'm going to be taking out of that. I am really, really pleased. And I'm relieved as well that this incubator is going to at least, at least work some. So we know that it, it works. Of course, they're hatching two days short or two days early, so we don't have the brooder made for them. So we have no place to put them. And we could have, could have another 30 or 40 chicks hatched in the morning. And that's like, that's maximum capacity for this as a brooder is about 25 or 30. So I don't know what we're going to do. we got to get something figured out in the morning, and then in the morning is the fish harvest. So, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll let you know what, the, what we got out of those two trays, what the hatch percentage was. Uh, and probably know that, not tomorrow night, but the day after that. Uh, they're all looking good. Well, let's we'll keep you apprised. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.